Hey, good morning. Oh, I don't have my thread. I better get some thread. Hold on. Yep. Hey, welcome. This is Jay Nicholas for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. This is something like day 22 or day 23 for my family being in self-isolation. Uh, I'm going to do... Hey, we're going to keep our spirits up. Always keep our spirits up. This is a, you know I love Thai Clousers, you know that. This is a no foul clouser. And I know a lot of people make claims about that sort of thing. But I saw this fly tied uh, in 2003. I picked it up at the fly shop in Eugene on my way south. I gotta figure out how to do this. I didn't know anything about clausers at the time. I really didn't. I had to learn all that stuff. This is my flash. It's kind of kind of poofy there. So this is my no foul clouser, and the reason it is no foul without fail. And I know this is this isn't really much of a tutorial. This is just kind of mild entertainment on this uh, very interesting time we are experiencing together. Now, how am I going to do this? Huh. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to go... Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. The, the reason I call this a no foul clouser is that it is going to be wrapped all the way to the back of the hook. And that's what we're going to do. And, and, and uh, I know there's another way to do this, but I'm, here's how I'm going to try it. I'm going to start my thread again here. I got my kitty wandering around here right now. So I normally don't worry about my clousers fouling, but I know some people do. And, and the, the other thing about this way of tying a clouser is that it will it'll just make it durable as all oh, get out. Really, 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 really durable. So why would you fish this? You know, what if you're fishing smallies? And um, that's kind of presumptuous of me to call them smallies because I've only caught a few of them in my life. But smallmouth bass or Pacific black rockfish or some other critter that you're catching a lot of. In the meantime, meanwhile, you're probably wondering how come he is making all those wraps way more than you need to. I'm actually just building up the body here. Um, if, if you're catching, you know, 20 fish, 30 fish, 40 fish, 10 toothy fish, uh, this will really make your fly. It's not indestructible. You know that. If, if you want to enhance this, uh, the durability of this fly, even more. Uh, you'll use a, a UV resin on it, uh, or you may just use cement. But, and, and so the thread basically protects that hair all the way back. There's no way for that hair to foul around the hook. Uh, you could dress this with a red thread, a chartreuse thread. Um, you're, the choice is yours, yellow. You can adjust your colors. You got your flash. You got your contrasting colors. Your hook will ride up like this because of the weighted eyes. So there you have a really durable, little bit different fly. Uh, go ahead and tie some up. Try to have some fun today, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. And uh, we're looking to good times ahead. There's no fly that's indestructible that I'm aware of. But this makes it super, super, super durable.